Okay, we have now imported uh, the OpenVAS scan and uh, added what's necessary to perform a basic risk an analysis and check the risk without adding any security controls. And we now assume that we have patched up what is needed and we need to register that these security controls have now been, been fixed. Of course, another way to do it is just to, to rerun the security analysis, but for now we will we'll, um, do it this way and, and uh, mark these controls as security controls as uh, being implemented. So double click on the security control and uh, and check whether it's implemented. Yes. After that, uh, check the control strength. The default is taken from the CVSS score. It's not a very um, strong effect of the security control, but uh, if you want kind of defense in depth strategy, then you might not want the controls to be too strong. You can all always take them stronger if you if you want to. That's uh, a decision to be made during risk assessment. So save the security control and you can then do this for all the security controls implemented yes save implemented yes save and do this for all security controls that have been implemented of course Okay, so now all the security controls have been implemented. We can then press the percent sign to redo the um, risk analysis. And um, then we can try to generate a new risk assessment report. Choose IS risk assessment, top level exam uh, element, OpenVAS scan and course demo. And then output format PDF and uh, check this uh, with controls. Call the file or ISMS risk management result. Open the scan and course with then move with controls. That's very long. But, but, uh, clear. Okay. And then generate the report. Like 
like that. So now we can check the results. With controls. And as you can see, uh, this has reduced the number of, of serious risks. The low risks have increased, increased somewhat, but uh, they are tolerable. So, especially for confidentiality, risks are, are reduced. One risk less for integrity, one less for availability. And if you want stronger uh, risk mitigation effect of the controls, then you need to increase the strength of the control, maybe even go as far as modify completely if it uh, completely closes the security hole that is known. So that, that should uh, completely eradicate that risk. And you can also see how Well, the full breakdown of, of the risk assessment results, like this. And you have the uh, risks with controls indicated here as well. So you have a quite detailed picture of, of the risk map and uh, can then do adaptations with the risk uh, analysis as you want after that. So this completes the um, very nice course done as part of the precise projects prevention and reaction to cyber attacks to critical infrastructures so now you can just uh, try all of this on your own and get some experience by using the very nice tool okay bye bye for now